Aquarius, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is going to be for October 7th all the way to October 13th. So welcome, Aquarius. Always look forward to doing your readings. Always. So thank you for watching, subscribing, sharing, all of that. I really appreciate it. The Aquarius crowd has really bumped up, and I'm so enamored by it. I really appreciate it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you and welcome. All right, let's talk about what's going on this week. We've got some energy. We've been in energy since, Jesus, the beginning of September, end of August. So let's talk about what's going on in this week of October. So October 9th, Jupiter, the planet of expansion, luck, growth, abundance, is going retrograde. Now, when Jupiter goes retrograde, that doesn't mean that your luck's all gone. That doesn't mean that at all. This is a very introspective time that we can use to our advantage to instead of expanding outward, we go within and expand within. It's about adapting a new philosophy, a new spirituality, a way of looking at things. What am I doing? What am I hindering that's stopping me from reaching my goals? What beliefs do I need to work on? So pay attention to that. Then a few days later, on the 11th, Pluto, the power of transformation, the, the, the planet of perspective, revolution, is going direct. Now, imagine this line being the cusp of Capricorn and Aquarius, okay, in astrology. Pluto has danced in and out of Capricorn and Aquarius. It's been transfor transformational for you, giving you a perspective on a lot of things. But now you're kind of, you know, right now you're in this for the last three months of kind of like a review period. Now Pluto's going to start moving out of Capricorn and into Aquarius for good. So this is the start of it, folks. This is the start. You've been planning getting things ready, this is when the payoff begins to happen. Pay attention to that. Now on the 13th, the planet of communication, Mercury, is moving into a water sign. So we're getting our emotions and its passion, speaking about our passions, speaking our passions to the universe. Again, going within, how can we expand inwardly so we can, it can be a reflection outwardly? Follow me on that. That's a that's those are two huge energy shifts. One big major planet's going retrograde, the other big major planet's going direct. It's like we never get a break, you know what I mean? But all in good time. But Pluto is gonna start going out of Capricorn for a very long time. We won't see it in our lifetimes. And it will stay in Aquarius for quite a while. Did I see a card flipped over the wrong way? I did. Okay. All right, Aquarius, so let's get the energy for you this week. Let's see what's going on here. Eh, they want me to cut it one more time, and that's not a problem. And let's get to it. Let's see, Aquarius, what do we got? Mm, interesting. Okay, let's flip them over. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Very good. Here we go, Aquarius. Buckle up. What we need to work on. We have the devil. I always say don't be tempted to. Don't be tempted to. Four of swords. Not get the rest you need this week. You need some rest. And there are some other thoughts because it's a four of swords. There are thoughts that need to be put to rest. How to remedy it? Page of Swords. Again, this is Cupid's arrow also. But what this is, is a new idea, a fresh approach coming in on how to get this rest, how to put this to rest. 
and stop dwelling on it. You can dwell on a lot, Aquarius. It's time to let that go. It's hindering the progress of this energy this week. What to embrace is the sun, Leo energy. The sun does not look for admiration. It does not say, am I doing a good job? No, it just does what it needs to do. That's what you need to do. But it's confidence. It's shining as brightly as the sun. King of Cups is getting in tune with your emotion. Do not waste your emotions on anything that doesn't serve you. It's trusting your intuition. It's expressing your emotions with that Mercury moving into Scorpio. That could very well allow you to express your emotions because let's face it, you're too much in your head. And sometimes you miss the, the cue when you could have said something. And you're always like, oh man, I should have said something, you know, when, when the topic was up. But you don't. You're too busy. <laughs> you know, we need to put that to rest. Now, the outcome. Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady. You're getting there. There's an offer coming in. Three of Wands is something you've been waiting for. And the world is completion. So this energy is boosting you to complete this situation. You could be dealing with fellow fixed sign, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius. That's twice Leo's come up. So it's what you've been waiting for, but it's going to be slow and steady. In the meantime, work on your self-confidence and release any negative energy and get the rest you need too. Also, that's a big message. Now let's get some oracles. And see what we got. What does it add to the story? Hmm. Okay, we're just going to leave that one out. I went to go pick it up and it said, nope. Okay, so what else do we have for Aquarius? What else do we have for Aquarius? Hmm. Okay, choose wisely. So... You've, there's there's a decision that you've been trying to make that you've been drug, juggling with. It's time to put it to rest. It's time to look at it from a different perspective. Go within. That's that Jupiter energy that's starting the week off. Go within. The answers you seek are within you. That will empower the shit out of you. Another nine, spiritual strength. Use that spiritual strength and... Love begins. Love begins, folks. Ace of Cups, something you've been waiting for, something completing here. Excellent. Now, let's add to this. Let's get some Psychic Tarot for the heart. So this is building up your spiritual strength, putting a lot of thoughts to rest. You're getting a new perspective. Now, you've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for this. But choose wisely. What are you going to choose, the negative or the positive? You know, clarity of belief. There it is again with that page of swords. So again, someone could be reaching out to you. All right. Yeah, that clarity of be belief. Again, the page of swords is out to affirm that this needs a new beginning. This needs it. Well, this is the Ace of Swords, actually. So you take a winning attitude. Sorry, I thought it was Page of Swords. <laughs> Two Aces, too. New way of looking at love. <clears throat> yeah. And all of a sudden, I got very... Uh, I had no reason to do that. You have to speak your truth to somebody. You have to say something. Okay? So... Let's take a look at this. Daydreams and decisions. Again, choose wisely. Another seven. Choose wisely. Make these a reality. Take the lead. This is growth. This is the emperor, empress energy. Take the lead in this. And success. Moving towards love. Hmm, another seven. Pay attention to 777. Look that up. Now let's look at love. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius here. Two aces in the hole. That's awesome. A new way of looking at things. A winning attitude. I deserve this. It's something I've been waiting for. And if you choose, you move towards it. 
you know? Now, let's get some love. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Yeah, whatever the situation is is going on here, again, this is needing some rest, putting things to rest. But this is also, this creates anxiety for you. And a relationship should not create anxiety for you. This is going on in your head. It's not the reality of the situation. Take the lead. Ten of Wands is releasing this burden. Maybe you have something to say. And I'll tell you why I brought that up again is because the Queen of Swords speaks her truth. Big, big, big message. And the Ace of Wands. Now, that's three wands. I mean, three aces, one more to go. This is the start of something new, something you've been waiting for. And the Three of Pentacles is working together towards something. That's beautiful. Working together towards something. All right? Interesting. Maybe with somebody that you work with, another three, pay attention to three, three, three. This is growth in this relationship, but it's up to you. It's up to you. That poor other person is just like, what do I do? What do I do? Where am I with this person? You know what I mean? Aquarius, you complicate things. You don't have to, baby doll. You can make this really easy for you. And you're going to, you're going to be completing this. And this opens up to new love. Again, here we are, one more week, talking about love again. All right. Let's get some messages of love and see what else is going on. Obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Pay attention. Children. Children are important to this partnership. All right. Maybe you want some kids. Maybe that's what you need in a partner. Okay, maybe someone has kids and you're like, how am I going to fit myself into this relationship? It's a lot easier than you think. You know what I mean? But then again, don't close yourself off. I just saw another number, 999. Nine, nine. Wow, that's 333-999-777. Three, 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 nine, 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 seven, seven, seven. Pay attention. I said this earlier, obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. There's a sense of fear here. Definitely. Second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. And it's coming. Open up to it. Open up to it. All right, Aquarius, damn. Let's get a closing message. Again, something's up here. It's, this, this is basically hinging on you. It's your next move. You're next to move on the board. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? All right, let's get a closing message for you, my lovely Aquariuses. And you just don't get one, you get two. Release. Aquarius, you're being asked to release any toxic people or situations from your life. You deserve to be free of all drama. And this is the first step to achieving that. Those could be some of the obstacles too. Patience. You're being asked to practice patience right now. It's not easy to do this. But you're strong, and there's a reason why things aren't aligning in the way you want them to in this moment. Have patience. It will eventually work out. You're, 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 you're not choosing to step out of this fear and step into love. Aquarius, it's possible. How many of you are going, but I, I don't feel like I'm lovable? You are. You are. And pay attention to the people around you. Because there's somebody around you that would give it the shot. Second chance. Mm. Aquarius, never a dull moment. Oof, we could go on and on and on and on, but we can't. But this is going to do it for this week. Open up to these opportunities. It's something you've been waiting for. Why live a life of, I should have done this? Oh, if I only did this, if I just could have took that chance, open up to it. Open up to it and allow it into your life. It's the last cog in your great machine you're building of you. You are loved. You are lovable. Allow yourself to enjoy that. Don't worry about if it's going to hurt. Sometimes it does. 
But don't you deserve a relationship that doesn't hurt and that fits right? Because it's all right here. Just open up to it. It's your thoughts that stop this completely from happening. All right, Aquarius, that's going to do it for this week. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, if you'd like a personal reading for October, I've got three choices in the description. Uh, keep a lookout. Uh, oh yeah, your love reading is posted for October if you haven't checked it out. It will be in the uh, end screen. And don't forget the freaking weekend will be available on Wednesdays to bring this energy over to the weekend to see whether it's going to be great or not. Because you know we're all working for the weekend. All right, Aquarius, give this a second chance, a second thought, a new way of looking at it and just open up to it. It's prime time, baby. All right, that's going to do it for this week and I will see you on Wednesday.